In this tutorial, we will look at how you can use the files area in your class team to set up collaborative workspaces for your students. So here I am in a class team, and I'm going to go over to the files area. And this can be done in any channel I've created. In this case, I'm in the general channel. So I'm going to go to files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a PowerPoint file for each group to work on a presentation project. So you'll notice here, I also already have a folder that I set up called group projects. And I wanna call out that you do not wanna create this within class materials, because remember, class materials is read only for students. Anything outside of class materials can be edited by the students. So I made the folder outside of that, it's called Group Projects, and all I did was I went up here to the New Menu, Folder, and then I named it. Now I have a Group Projects folder. I'm going to click into that because now what I want to do is create my files within here for my students to work on. Now, if I wanted to, I could even make another folder for each group. I could come up here, Create Folder, and this could be group one, create. And then I could do another folder for group two, and so on. This way, it just helps separate the work so that students are not accidentally getting into each other's files by accident. So now, once I have this set up, I'm going to go into one of the groups. We'll start with group one. Now I need to give them the PowerPoint file that they'll work on. I, so I could either upload an existing PowerPoint file maybe that I created as a template for them to start with, or I could simply go here to New and select PowerPoint Presentation. It could be a Word document, an Excel document, a OneNote notebook, um, or a form. So uh, we're doing a PowerPoint because we want them to have a presentation style document. And we're going to call this um, our learning and create. All right, so now here we have a file. It's there ready for them to use. And uh, if I wanted to, I could create uh, some information on these slides, which I recommend. What you could do is on the first slide, you might add the information for the students about this particular project and what they need to do, the criteria for success, and, and all of those details. It's nice to have it in the document for them to um, have as a reference. You could even, if you're using PowerPoint, you could even put it in the notes section of the PowerPoint down below. And so once you get that ready with all your instructions and details, we're going to close this. And so now the next step is, OK, well, we that was group one, but now we need to make one for group two and group three and group four. Well, the beauty of this is we can copy this exact file we just prepped. So I'm going to go over here to the drop down three dots and I'm going to select copy. When I select copy, I can then navigate my team files area and drop this wherever I want. So for example, I'm in group one right now, as you can see here, I can click this up arrow and go back up to uh, group two folder. Now I can click into group two and select this as the place I would like to copy the file to. Click copy. And so now when I go back here to group projects and group two, you'll see that group two has a file in their area as well. And so I could go on and create even more group folders and copy that file to them. So this is a great way for you to organize collaborative files for your teams in the class team app. You'll also want to let your students know that when they go in and open their file, they can all be in the file together at the same time. 
In addition, the file loads within the Microsoft Teams app, so they don't even have to leave Teams. And they can click and all begin working on the presentation or the Word document that they're working in. In the case of a presentation, they could create multiple slides and be jigsawing the work so they can each take a slide and or a series of slides and work on those. But they can be on one slide together. And then when they're done with their work, they're going to simply come up here and click on the close button to close out of this. Everything auto saves, so they don't have to worry about trying to save it somewhere. Although if they did want to save their own copy uh, and download it to the desktop or to their OneDrive, once they have it open in Teams, they do have the opportunity of saving a copy of the file. So they could go here under the file menu and they could go to download as and that would allow them to download their own copy. It will leave this main copy on Teams so that you have it as the teacher to access to review their work. All right, and that is how you can set up collaborative documents with Microsoft Teams.